Hola, you amazing artists. You like my little apron? Got my little white apron on. It's all clean and new, no paint on it yet. Failure. Failure is actually a good thing. Robbie's tips for artists because he loves you. Even if you are a professional artist who has been doing this for a long time, if you have not learned how to fail, then it's a lesson that you need to learn. You have to realize that not every project that you work on is going to work out and look the way that you want it to look. And that's okay. Way too many people in a creative field stagnate themselves because they are trying to avoid failure versus just experimenting and moving forward and knowing that if it gets screwed up, that's all right. You can learn from that experience and move on. So when you mix up paints and you put them on canvas and they look like vomit and that was not your intention, look for the positive in that. Maybe the stringiness is something that you'll want to use in the future. There is a positive experience in every single failure as long as you're willing to look at it that way versus looking at it. It's so terrible. It just doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> and if it doesn't work, or you don't like it, or you didn't enjoy doing it, then just don't do that. One of the things that I do here in the studio is a lot of experimentation. And sometimes those things work out and they look amazing. But most times, most times they look like crap. I'm currently failing miserably at the original design I had for this necklace. Original design. <laughs> Failure. <laughs> I mean, I could show you guys one of my failures right now. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is just a nightmare <laughs> in the happening. This is, this is not at all what I wanted it to look like. Now, did I get some benefits out of doing this? Yeah, I, I found some texture that I like. But other than that, there is nothing decent or pleasing about this piece. This, this piece is a freaking atrocity. Truth be told, <laughs> I've been watching that piece make its way around the studio for a couple of days, and I've been wondering what the f that piece of is. <laughs> Would it do me any good to braid myself because something looks like crap? No. And in fact, a lot of the techniques that I've developed that work are because I took what worked from a failed experimentation and applied it somewhere else. Recently, I was working on a sterling silver engagement ring and completely melted the prong. And... <laughs> Failure! It got thrown in the reject bin for later. <laughs> reject bin! It's okay, you can have a reject bin or That's... a reject pile. And every once in a while I go through and I'm like, well, that's a piece of canvas that's gonna get painted over. You can go in there and be like, which one of you glimmering turds is going to inspire <laughs> me today? <laughs> Unless you're willing to fail in that way, you're not going to really discover anything new. So be willing to fail and remember that failure is a good thing. Now this perspective doesn't just apply to your art. It can apply to your career trying new things in your career. It could apply to your relationships, taking a look at the way that things are working out and whether or not you're happy with them. It could apply to your health. Take a look at your actions and how it is that you're feeling and whether or not there's something that you need to change. And your life. Take a look at your life and see if you are happy with the way that things are going, with the steps that you are taking. And remember, you could always go right back to the drawing board and tweak that whole thing. So just remember, do not ever be afraid to fail because failure could be a good thing. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking awesome. I totally adore you. And if you like what you see here, go ahead and click on this little insignia of me. And if you want to watch our last video, you could click on that right there. Say goodbye, Clee. Good day. Adios.